Hello guys, this video is about unit testing in JavaScript, AngularJS applications and how to easily set up Karma Test Runner for Jasmine tests. Now, first of all, what are the benefits of unit testing and why do you need in JavaScript unit testing? JS being one of the most popular languages on web, the Karma and Jasmine unit tests provide a way to enhance productivity and to easily find and remove bugs. For example, if you are working in a team of 5 people and someday your code changes and uh, we want to be sure that the previously developed code is not getting any bug. So unit tests provide an easy way to simplify your code development and to find out bugs if any. And what is Karma? Karma is, is not a testing framework, rather it is a test runner that is it helps load the testing environment that is used for testing for unit testing in AngularJS applications being po very popular nowadays for unit testing and in different browsers loading different test frameworks it provides really great benefits such as testing on real devices loads multiple test frameworks such as Jasmine, Mocha, QUnit it can be easily integrated with Jenkins which is a continuous integration uh, framework or a continuous deployment framework it can load multiple testing frameworks and load different browsers which can do unit testing in the real environment so let's get started installing Karma to get started with Karma installation the first thing you require is Node.js Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine it has a package manager called npm which helps install Karma and its related libraries. Node.js can be downloaded from nodejs.org which you can use to download respective to your operating system. Node.js is just required for running Karma though you don't have to write code using Node modules. After successful installation of Node.js you can check your Node version if it's properly installed it will be displayed such as a number here. This shows that my node was successfully installed and its version is 6.9.1. Now let's proceed to the installation of Karma. We can create a new folder called test if. After creating new folder, we create a new file called package.json Open the file in your text editor. Alright, just create a blank JSON or JavaScript object and save the file. Now, what is package.json? Package.json is used for Node or NPM module installations. Here, once we install the NPM Karma modules, the, the package.json file will get populated with their versions and other developer dependencies. It basically contains a list of metadata for your app or modules and a list of the de dependencies that your app or modules need. Now let's go open the command line in the test directory that we just created and run the command npm install karma hyphen hyphen save dev this command, this part, which is an optional part, will load the dependencies in the package.json file. Hit enter. Installation progressing. Alright, so after the installation is done, we will see a tree something like this. But gives me some warnings uh, which says skipping optional dependency fs events now you needn't worry about fs events warning because this is an architecture problem and this warning will be shown on windows systems after installing karma if you see a package.json file it has been updated with karma version but when you run karma on command prompt it still says it's not recognized in this internal external command now there is one more command we need to run which is install karma cli you can probably 
install this. This will help run karma as a command in our command prompt of Windows. Alright, I guess karma is installed now after running the karma CLI command that is karma's command line tool for Windows. Okay, now what we'll install is Jasmine. Jasmine is the main framework for testing your JavaScript code. So to install Jasmine, we'll write a small command again, which is npm install Jasmine core library of a particular version, with again giving a flag as no option to avoid warnings. Once Jasmine is installed, we'll install some Karma Jasmine plugins, such as Karma Jasmine and Karma Chrome Launcher. So write npm install Karma. plugins in the dev dependency section of package.json. Hit enter. Once these plugins are installed, your package.json file should look something like this. Now we need to generate a configuration file for karma using the command karma init karma.conf.js. This will ask a set of questions such as which testing framework do you want? Just keep the defaults. Do you require JS? You, we can change font from the file conf js, karma conf js that was generated just now based on the answers that you've given. Such as browsers, what you need, Chrome. Reporters is just progress. If you need HTML reporter, we need a, a different plugin for that. Browsers is Chrome, you can add Firefox, Phantom JS, which is a command line browser, and so on. We'll go ahead and now edit the package.json file by including scripts. I'll explain to you what this will do. Every time that we want to run test cases, we don't need to write this command karma start karma conf.js. Instead, we'll just write npm test. Okay, we'll proceed by writing a few tests so that we can use karma for your testing. Now, if you can see, I have two folders one is app, which contains the main application controller. Second is the test case test file which includes the unit test written for that application controller. Okay, we'll go through this test file. Describe before each IT are uh, all keywords of the Jasmine testing syntax. Describe is basically a test suite which contains all the individual tests, such as we are describing that these tests include uh, um, uh, some functionality test that is an addition functionality test of the calculator describe function takes two parameters a string which describes the tests and a function which contains all the individual tests before each is uh, we need to include calculator app module defined in the angular app controller in in before each before running each of the individual tests we are declaring a variable dollar controller we are injecting controller into this variable. Now, once we describe these test units, then uh, which which is an individual test, we give like one plus one should equal two. We are de defining a uh, blank scope variable. We are saying that x dollar one dot y is equal to two, and we are calling scope dot sum function. Scope dot sum function is defining the application controller over here. Now, if you are giving 1 plus 2, it, it should equal 3. So, expect scope.z to be 3. Now, let's run the test. So before running, we need what we do is we need to both our files, app and testing file. So, app controller is in the app folder and the testing files are in the calculator test folder. 
for it we need to include a library files which are angular mocks.js and angular min.js since this is an angular js application we need to run so we we'll just include these two files angular